Hi there, everyone, and dear children, how are you all today? I hope everyone is doing fine. Welcome back. Today we shall be looking at Unit Five again, my new house. Let's play in your workbook on page thirty-seven. In today's lesson, we shall do a bit of revision on preposition of place. Then you will do one listening activity and answer some questions based on the listening activity. Are you ready? Let's get started. Let's revise preposition of place one on the atas on example. The books are on the table. Two. Under. Di bawah. Under. Example. The box is under the table. Three. In. Di dalam. In. Example. The mirror is in the box. Four. Next to. Di sebelah. Next to, example, the apples are next to the box. Five. Between, di tengah. Between, example, the pencil is between the boxes. Six. In front of, di depan. In front of, example. The ball is in front of the box. Seven, behind, di belakang, behind. Example, the ball is behind the box. Now, let's revise how to use preposition or place to answer questions with the question word where. In Bahasa Malaysia. Where yala kata soal di manakah? Example number one. Where's the box? Remember to answer the question. First, you need to look at the noun. The box, singular noun. So begin your answer with it's, followed by the preposition under, then the noun, the table. Question. Where's the box? Answer: It's under the table. Number two. Where are the books? To answer the question, first look at the noun, the books, plural noun. So begin your answer with they are, followed by the preposition on, then the noun, the table. Question. Where are the books? Answer: They are on the table. Now, take out your workbook and turn to page thirty-seven. We are going to do activity one and activity two. First, let's do activity one. Listen carefully to the conversation and draw a line to where the radio. The mirror, the cats, the painting, and the slippers are. Now listen carefully to the conversation. Follow the first example I'm going to show you. Module five, workbook. Let's play. Activity one. Listen and draw a line. One. Where's the radio? It's in the wardrobe. Where is it? It's in the wardrobe. Two. Where's the mirror? It's on the wall. Where? It's on the wall, just behind the door. Three. Where are the cats? They're on the floor. Are they on the mat? No, they aren't. They're sleeping under the bed. Four. Where's the painting? It's on the wall, between the bookcase and the wardrobe. On 
the wall where? Between the bookcase and the wardrobe. Five. Where are the slippers? They're on the floor, in front of the armchair. Where? On the floor, in front of the armchair. Children, now you have finished activity one. Continue to do activity two. Look at activity one and answer the questions. Follow the example in number one. We shall discuss the answers for both activity one and two at the end of the lesson. Good luck. Thank you for watching this video. If it helps you, kindly click the like button below and share it out. And do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more educational videos. Now, let's check the answers. Activity 1. Listen and draw a line. 1. Where's the radio? It's in the wardrobe. Where is it? It's in the wardrobe. Let's check. It's in the wardrobe. Two. Where's the mirror? It's on the wall. Where? It's on the wall, just behind the door. Let's check. It's on the wall, just behind the door. Three. Where are the cats? They're on the floor. Are they on the mat? No, they aren't. They're sleeping under the bed. Let's check. They are sleeping under the bed. Four. Where's the painting? It's on the wall, between the bookcase and the wardrobe. On the wall where? Between the bookcase and the wardrobe. Let's check. Between the bookcase and the wardrobe. Five. Where are the slippers? They're on the floor, in front of the armchair. Where? On the floor, in front of the armchair. Let's check. On the floor, in front of the armchair. Children, did you get all your answers correct? Well, if any of your answers is wrong, please correct it. Let's move on to activity 2. Look at activity 1 and answer. First, let's look at the example. Where's the radio? To answer the question, first look at the noun. Radio, singular noun. So, begin your answer with It's, followed by preposition and noun. It's in the word drop. 2. Where's the mirror? First, look at the noun. Mirror, singular noun. So, begin your answer with It's, followed by preposition and the noun. It's on the wall behind the door. 3. Where are the cats? First, look at the noun. Cats, plural noun. So, begin your answer with they are, followed by preposition and the noun. They are under the bed. 4. Where's the painting? Painting, singular noun. So, begin your answer with it's, followed by preposition and the nouns. It's between the bookcase and the wardrobe. 5. Where are the slippers? Slippers, plural noun. So, begin your answer with They are, followed by preposition and the noun. They are on the floor in front of the armchair. Children, did you get all your answers correct? 
Remember to do your correction if you got your answer wrong. Well, that's all for today. Remember, stay safe, stay at home. Till we meet again in our next lesson. Bye.